Dogs do some weird things, like sniff butts, follow you into the restroom, and tilt their heads to the side when you're talking to them. But they don't just do these things randomly. Scientists have discovered there's an important but often unexpected reason behind each one of these weird behaviors. So let's start with something every dog owner has seen their pup do. Lick their lips. Dogs might be licking their lips because you just busted out the peanut butter jar or because they're thinking about dinner. But that's not the only reason dogs lick their lips. They might also lick their lips because they're nervous. If you see your dog licking their lips and there's no food around, consider your environment, if there's anything they might be nervous about, and if you can help ease their nerves. You can do that by giving them more space, leaving the situation entirely, or doing more work to get them comfortable around whatever the problem is. But here's the cutest weird behavior dogs do. Many dogs tilt their heads to the side when they hear a sound. It melts our hearts, but there are several legitimate reasons dogs do it, and one reason that might make you love them even more. First, they sometimes do it to help them hear better. Their big ears, although very cute, interfere with how well they collect sound. They sometimes have to tilt their head or cock their ears in order to hear better or identify where a sound is coming from. Then you've got the heart stealers that tilt their head when you're talking right in front of them. When they do this, they're actively trying to hear and understand you better because the muscles of a dog's middle ear are controlled by the same part of the brain that controls facial expressions and head movements. But here's the funniest reason of them all. When your dog tilts their head, you probably laugh or tell them how cute they are. Well, your pup likes the attention from you, so you've probably accidentally trained your dog to keep doing it. This is a cute and harmless behavior, but this next one is actually the most dangerous behavior in this video. Many dogs like to eat inedible things like sticks, rocks, socks, and even poop. This is called pika, and they might eat these things because they have a medical problem, they're not getting enough nutrients, they're anxious or bored, or if you have a puppy, because they're teething. And sure, it's cute if your pup is chewing sticks or stealing your underwear, but it can actually be dangerous. Sticks can cut their mouth, they can choke on your underwear if they try to swallow it, or these items can get lodged in their stomach and require surgery to remove them. If you're nodding along and saying, yep, this is totally my dog, then you might want to talk to your vet to see if the two of you can identify the reason why they're doing this and come up with a plan to stop it so that your pup can live a long, happy, and healthy life. Okay, enough of the dangerous stuff, let's get back to the cute stuff. Many dogs love to roll on their back and expose their bellies. Most people think this is a submissive behavior, and it often is, but it's not the only reason dogs roll on their backs. They might do this to show other pups that they're trying to play, or they just want your attention and a couple of belly rubs. If your pup is rolling on their back in the grass, they might be trying to scratch an itch or leave their mark. Yep, dogs don't only pee on things to leave their mark, they sometimes leave their scent by rolling in things. But the weirdest reason dogs roll in grass and other things is because they want to pick up a new scent. And this takes us to this next weird behavior. But before we get into it, if you love your dog and want them to be the best dog they can be, subscribe to Doggy Digs so you never miss out on any of our future doggy videos. Okay, now dogs also like to roll in smelly things like poop. When they roll in poop or grass, they might be trying to pick up the new scent. They do this for two reasons. One, it can help them hide from predators better because now they don't only smell like a dog. And two, it can be kind of like a dog's version of posting on Instagram. They smell exotic, and now they can show off to their other dog friends where they've been. It's a way dogs communicate, just like this next weird behavior. Dogs sometimes kick the grass after they use the restroom. No, your dog isn't gearing up to charge like a bull. When dogs kick the ground, they're releasing pheromones through their paw pads to let other dogs know they were there. They might be marking their territory, or just letting other pups know everything is all good, a friendly dog was in the neighborhood, and there are no predators around. Many dogs also have a weird routine before they go potty, which we'll get to in a second, because we first need to talk about this adorable behavior. Some dogs bring their owners weird gifts. Yes, some dogs are normal and bring their owners toys to play with when they walk in the door. Then you've got some other weirdos that bring their owners dirty socks or rags. Let me know in the comments about the weird stuff your dog brings you. But no matter what your pup brings you, it's usually because they want to play, they want your attention, or they're just proud of their toy. I can't relate since my dog's favorite game is keep away, which takes us to this next weird behavior. Many dogs steal their owner's stuff. Although it's frustrating for you, they do it out of love. 
No, seriously. They might steal your socks because they like the smell of you. Or they might steal your underwear because they know that you'll chase them and they want to play with you and get your attention. It's kind of like how you annoyed the person you liked back in middle school because you didn't know how else to flirt. Okay, now let's get back to the weird routine many dogs have before they go potty. Sometimes dogs circle in an area before they go poop. Although it's a simple ritual, there are actually many reasons why they do this. First, they could be trying to sniff out predators in the area before they get into the vulnerable poo position. They could also be trying to flatten the grass so they don't get an unexpected tickle near their pickle. Or, just like when they kick up the grass, they might be leaving pheromones through their paw pads to let other dogs know they were there. If they're pacing before they go, there's also the possibility that they just need to get things moving down there before they can actually go. Of course, if your dog is a serious pacer, it could be a sign that they're constipated, which could be a sign that you want to talk to their vet. But they don't only spin in circles before they poop. They might also spin in circles before they lay down. This is probably a behavior passed on from your dog's ancestors. In the wild, wolves may circle before laying down to face a certain direction that helps them be ready for a potential attack. Or they might face the direction of the wind so that they can smell a threat before it gets too close. Then again, it just might be your dog's way of plumping up their pillow before they lay down. It's a cute doggy behavior, and so is this next one, in a weird way. Dogs sometimes stare at you when they poop. We know that dogs feel vulnerable when they go, so they might be staring at you to feel comforted or to ensure you're keeping a lookout for predators. But it's also possible that you trained them to look at you when they go. When your dog was a puppy, you probably rewarded them for going outside when you were potty training them. Your pup knew a treat was coming, so they looked at you in anticipation of it. Well, it's possible that your dog just never got out of the habit of looking at you when they go. Now sometimes your dog looks at you when they do this next weird habit, which makes it infinitely worse. Dogs often lick their private parts, and although it's a weird and embarrassing behavior, especially if you have company over, there's a pretty normal reason they do it. They just want to keep themselves clean. They don't have toilet paper like we do, so their tongue will have to suffice. Although if they start to excessively lick, it might be because of an infection or some other health problem. If you notice them scooting their butt on the floor, redness down there, or an abnormally foul odor down there, then you might want to have your vet check them out. But their private parts aren't the only weird thing they lick. Many dogs love to lick your feet. Yep, the stinkier the better. Obviously your dog has different standards for what smells, quote, good. And stinky feet are like a treat for them. But they also like to lick stinky feet because they're sweaty. And dogs love licking the salty sweat off of you. But the sweat doesn't even have to be on you. Here's another sweet but weird thing you might find your dog doing. Sleeping on your dirty clothes or shoes. Your dog loves the smell of you, and dirty, sweaty clothes are covered in your scent, so your pup probably finds it comforting. It's not quite as good as snuggling with you, but because their sense of smell is their strongest sense, it's pretty darn close. Which leads us to this next weird behavior. Many dogs like to join their owners in the restroom. Hey, you're always with your dog when they go potty, why can't they return the favor? But it's different. Many dogs like to spend time with you in the restroom because it smells uh, extra you. Whereas when your dog goes potty, I'm sure you're not basking in the aroma like they are. Now let's get on to what may be the weirdest dog behavior out there. Dogs love to sniff butts. Human butts, dog butts, cat butts, they don't discriminate, they'll sniff them all. When they sniff other dogs' butts, it's partly because it's their version of greeting each other, but it's more than that. They can tell if they've met the dog before, how they're feeling, if they're friendly or not, or if they're a potential mate. Honestly, it sounds way more efficient than a long, drawn-out human conversation, right? But they don't only sniff other dogs' butts. They might get a nice, long whiff of your crotch or your butt, too. And just like when sniffing dogs' butts, it's not just a simple hello. Humans have glands called apocrine glands down there that release pheromones that give dogs lots of information about you, like your age, your mood, and your gender. But if you've recently had sex, or ladies, if you're on your period, or recently had a baby, your crotch might get extra attention from a dog because you're releasing an extra amount of pheromones that smell interesting to them. Dogs love it when we're all smelly and dirty, but they hate it when we're clean. And if you want to see other human habits dogs hate, watch this video next.